Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Beer review number 4,000. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Welcome to Beer Review number 4,000. Wow, that blows my mind that we've got up 4,000 beer reviews. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Thanks for spending a little time with this old man. Uh, beer Review 4,000, that blows my mind, it really does. Uh, when I started this, I never thought I'd still be doing it. 10 plus years down the road so uh, a lot of great comments and subscribers and wonderful beers that are being sent to me by subscribers and breweries i do appreciate it and and even friends dropping them off mr wiley and uh, and dennis it's it's uh, it's a good gig to have guys uh, it really is, and I enjoy it, so I'm glad I'm still able to do it, especially with all the health problems I've had over the last four years, so uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you much for stopping by and supporting me uh, and commenting. Uh, it, it all is appreciated. I don't post a lot of comments on the comments that are posted. I usually at least like them. Uh, but if you ask me a question, I'll try to answer it if I can. So uh, it, it's been a long journey, but it's been a pleasurable journey. So thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it, guys. It, it is appreciated. Trust me. Uh, this is Hot Butcher for the World, the, jewel, the Jewels. Uh, this is a 7.5% uh, double IPA on the can here. Very got a skull with a lot of... Very nice graphic artwork on there. Uh, Mosaic and Vic Secret Hop Double IPA, 7.5%. And on the bottom, it said it was packaged on 0921 of 20. So, uh, very, very nice. And it's got the artwork by Dan Gretz Gretzka. And uh, these, these guys are in Bedford Park, Illinois. Uh, 16 ounce can with the heat trunk label on it, uh, very nice. Uh, this was sent to me by Jeremiah, who's with Hot Butcher for the World. Jeremiah, thank you very much. I do appreciate the wonderful beers you send me. You guys rock. I've not had a bad beer from you guys. You know how to produce everything from lagers, IPAs, double IPAs, pale ales, stouts. You, head brewer there definitely knows what they're doing. So, with that being said, let's get on with beer review number 4,000. Uh, let's jump over to Untap. No, I'll be used, of course, and their commercial description is the same thing that's on the bottom of the can. It tells you the hops that they've used. So, let's find out. Let's get it opened up. Get it into the glass. I'm hoping this is going to be a really good beer. That's why I chose the Hot Butcher beer. Very cloudy, very hazy coming out. Definitely looks like a New England style beer. One of my favorites. Whew. I can smell it already, guys. This far away, I can smell it. Oh, it smells awesome. I love the skulls. Man, I've got skulls. I've got skulls all over. i got tattoos of skulls and stuff, so very nice. Uh, finger and a half of head on that. Definitely looks like a glass of orange juice there, guys. Bright orange color, very cloudy, very hazy, no light coming through it whatsoever. Looks like a glass of orange juice. To the nose we go. Now the mosaic is, is a favorite of mine. I like mosaic hops. And the big secret is the southern hemisphere hops. You get some spicy notes there, hopefully. So let's find out. 
Very nice. Very, very nice. Ah, these New England style beers have absolutely ruined my palate, guys. I mean, pine, grapefruit, pineapple. Hint of some spicy notes there. Maybe a little bit of tropical fruit notes. Oh, it smells awesome, guys. It smells absolutely awesome. Ah, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeremiah, and everybody at Hot Butcher for the World. You guys rock. Rock it. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Super tasty. I just hope for one day that these guys at Hot Butcher will be able to expand and get bigger and distribute it further out and I will be able to buy these beers here in Virginia. That would be awesome. That would be absolutely freaking awesome. And you guys up in Illinois, I don't know how far out from the brewery it goes. I don't know what the distribution is whatsoever, but if you're close enough to get their beers, you need to pick them up. You need to try them. They make stuff for everybody. If you want a lager, you want a pale ale, you want an IPA, double IPA, uh, a dark beer, they do it. They do it. Mm. Absolutely delicious, delicioso. And there are so many breweries out there now that are producing this style. Now, if you don't like this style, I'm this flapping my gums, guys. But if you like this style, a lot of breweries are doing it. And they're doing it very well. Trillium, Treehouse, Vitamin C, Pariah, Hot Butcher. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. Uh, and not even just in this country, in other countries, uh, they're doing it very well. Very well. So, uh, I love this style. Let's do the little swirly swirl one more time. Get it all out of the can. Get it into the glass. A little bit of particulates coming out of the bottom of the can. It is an unfiltered beer, just remember that. And we got it all. I really like the the skull graphics on the front of this. Very, very nice. Got some diamonds and stuff on there. Lightning bolt. Pow! Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright guys, it's right out of the fridge. Let me go sip on it. I know when I give it to her, she's gonna say, Ah, you don't want no more of this. Give me that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for a while now, and I had to pry it out of her hands. She said, you don't want no more of that, do you? I'm like, Give me that. It's awesome, is what she said. That's her exact word, word for word. It is a quote, and I agree. It is an awesome beer, guys. It's very, very tasty. Look at the lacing on the glass. Awesome lacing, awesome beer in the glass. Good choice for beer review for thousand. And these guys don't make a bad beer. If you can get their beers, you need to pick you need to pick them up. If I could get them here, I would you would see them in my fridge all the time, no doubt. And I'm so thankful that Jeremiah has chosen me to send his their beers to me. Uh, I enjoy every single one of them. Very tasty beers. I don't chug. We got some sediment in the bottom of the glass on this one, so I'm going to get all of that. Delicious. Very citrusy. Grapefruit, pineapple, tropical fruit notes, hint of some spiciness from the big secret hops. Very, very enjoyable. Alcohol is super well hidden. ABV's on the can. Dates on the bottom of it. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. 100 for me, guys. It's an A-plus beer. It is definitely a very tasty beer. I'm going to go against the grade on this one a little bit. From what I'm seeing, uh, Beer Advocate has it at 92. It's better than a 92, guys. If you don't like this beer, you bought the wrong beer. You don't like an unfiltered beer. You don't like a New England style beer. You don't like a hazy beer. Anyway, I thought it was absolutely fantastic, guys. 
Over to untapped, they have it at 4.26. That's in their A category too. Uh, I've seen better numbers from those guys also. But this is super delicious to me. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. I would spend my money on it. Now, I don't have a lot of it since I'm on Social Security now only. Uh, I would spend my money on it. I would buy it. So, if you've had the jewels from Hot Butcher for the World, let me know what you think. Thanks for stopping by for beer review number 4,000. That blows my mind out. We're at beer review 4,000. Thanks for everybody's support and comments and uh, uh, that support me on Patreon. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you're not a supporter on Patreon, you can go over there and uh, you'll see tomorrow's beer review today. You get to see it a day earlier than everybody else. So if you want to, if you want to go that route, jump over there and sign up and join and help support me on that site, and that helps me to buy beers when I don't have any to review that's been sent to me. So, with that being said, guys, if you've had the jewels from Hot Butcher for the World, let me know. Till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Thanks for stopping by for beer review number four thousand.